Hello everybody! I'm really proud to showcase you today our newest product, Modular Medieval NPC version 2. We decided to create this new medieval product based on a popular demand and this time the focus is more on a higher royal court. Therefore we created a lot of variations to fit the humanoids. As you can see here, there's a jester to entertain the kings, there's an advisor, there's a female court lady, there's a higher citizen class, and as well the church had a strong presence in the European medieval late times. Therefore we made an additional set of a bishop and a noon. And we added the plague doctor as well. Here are some material variations from one of our chess pieces for the royal ladies, as you can see, the tint variations. And there are all the dresses which we made with some tint examples. We created two cloaks for this one. There's an additional instrument, the lute, for the bards. They had variations for all the different types. And as usual, our body is composed of multiple skeletal mesh component parts. So therefore, we split it into pants, chest, headpieces, gloves, shoes. And that's the main part. You can also add additional parts if you want to. This product is based on the UE5 skeleton. Unfortunately, we didn't see the point of adding these to the UE4 mannequin as well. So therefore, this goes for the UE5 only. But on the other hand, we there support the meta-human tall normal weight proportions. Here you can see the bards playing a little bit with the flute, the lute. And I'm gonna jump over to the meta-human integration. Okay, metahumans are pretty straightforward integrated. You just go to the metahuman creator app in your browser, then you import your metahuman. It's just important that you stick to the tall normal weight proportions. This is um, the version which is on the top right. Here, for example, is one of our um, clerics. I just added these right now on the metahuman directly itself and the blueprint, so all the pieces um, are just added to this default blueprint. I just browse to this piece right now. I'm gonna select the torso here in this case. Fit this to the meta human and I'm gonna also pick one of my pants here. I'm gonna choose this one. Voila. Yeah. And we go to the likes. Voila. And there you can add um, additional material variations for example short dark red if it fits better for you and now he's missing a headpiece let's go to the heads folder and we're gonna give him a head pointy b so i'm gonna go in here take a look if an additional slot is needed for this one you just simply go to the blueprint edit them blueprints let's go in i'm gonna add one additional one this is for my head right now which is added as you can see the default uh, additional skeletal mesh component is not in the same bone position as the base body. So therefore we need to drag and drop this into the body slot. And we need to go into the enable master pose component. Set master pose component is in here. So and therefore we go to the construction script and we need to call this additional enable master pose for our additional skeletal mesh component. Tick, tick, and we're gonna add the pointy head and that's the skeletal mesh component. Press compile, here we go. Voila, and the head is in position and fitting now accordingly to the given bone position from the leader pose component. This is um, a simple example how you could do this with the meta humans if you need additional SK meshes on these guys. Yeah, and I also um, created a few prefab characters for you guys. So here's a villager example. You can also add um, the plague doctor. And you can create a variety of dresses and mix and match these. Um, however, you want to distribute your city if you have like the higher city part where you want more royal high class citizens and I also added some villagers um, to also have a little bit of variety in the lower skirts for example. 
Here's a jester, um, jester as well, or as usual, our addresses come uh, with a basic clustering component. So all this is uh, working as you can see here. <coughs> and there's an additional, additional villager or the royal first. Let's get this guy in. And we can also choose uh, the king dress, for example. This could be one of the kings. And here we go. Oops, and let us bring back the default slot. If the arms are sticking through the gloves, it's quite simple because gloves equip the morph target is not activated. Please check this in the chest pieces. There's always uh, a morph target for gloves equipped, for example. And these needs to be triggered if you want to put on a glove. Same applies to the boots with the shoes and for some headgear with the hair pieces. This is all doable um, just in the construction script or via a function. This depends on your um, custom implementation on these things. All right. Next one. Yeah, the meta human gives um, a lot of head variations. Therefore, we decided to only bring in our base body uh, with two head variations. So nothing new here at this point. Uh, and also same applies with the hairstyles because meta human delivers most of these out of the box. So therefore, uh, we just have our base body um, with two or three hair variations. Um, just to help you fill a little, little bit of data as well under the headpieces. Um, I wouldn't say use groom for all the citizens. So low level LODs are totally fine as long as it's the haircuts then. But therefore we also added these additional uh, hairstyles which you can distribute then to the body itself. But the focus on this product is uh, clearly on the dress variety and not the anatomy itself. Yeah, and texture variations, as shown before, this can be applied to all the different um, outfits. I just uh, browsing here to the purple variation. We can make him a red one. We can also go with the uh, darker version of it. It's totally up to you. And in the material, there's a tint mask, and the tint mask controls which area is going to be tinted. For example, the red channel is the main cloth component. If we go to the red one, as you can see here on the chest, you can make it then even brighter or darker. This depends on your visual taste and also what type of color scheme you want to have for your city. Okay, I do believe this gives a pretty good overview of all the things we have in store here for you. The production screenshots showcase all of the dresses which are made for the product. It was a pretty big product for us. It took some time um, and I'm pretty sure you can fill your streets or your city with all these dresses and create a little bit more variety. And also accordingly, this product works with Medieval MPC version 1 together and they can both fill uh, your cities with good Medieval citizens or peasants. All right, that's it from my side. I'm going to wish you all a pretty good day. And feel free to drop us a line if something is unclear or you have additional questions. Ciao!